number one. Get more sunlight during the day. One of the most vital things that induce great sleep is your body's natural secretion of a hormone called melatonin. Melatonin is produced by the pineal gland in your brain and sends a signal to control the sleep-wake cycle in your body. The production and secretion of melatonin are powerfully affected by light exposure. Sunlight provides the natural spectrum of light that we need to help coordinate the cycle of melatonin production. Get more light during the day, less light at night, and you are on your way to having a magic sleep number 2. Journal Thinking about or doing stressful activities can cause the body to release stress hormones, leading to alertness. But writing out stressful thoughts in a journal can help us avoid restlessness once we hit the sheets. Studies suggest certain types of journaling allow us to focus on the positive instead of the negative aspects of our day. Number 3. Get to bed at the right time. This is key. You can literally get amplified benefits of sleep by sleeping at the right hours. It has been shown that humans get the most significant hormonal secretions and recovery by sleeping during the hours of 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. This is what I call money time. You get the most rejuvenating effects during this time, and any sleep that you get in addition is a bonus. This is based on the seemingly lost realization that we humans are a part of nature, and when the lights go out on the planet, that's a cue from the universe that it's time for us to turn down to number four. Work out earlier in the day. While exercise can help improve sleep quality, it is important to schedule workouts that end at least two hours before hitting the hay so that post-workout adrenaline boost does not keep you up. Use high quality magnesium. Magnesium is a bona fide anti-stress mineral. It helps optimize circulation and blood pressure, balance blood sugar, relax tense muscles, reduce pain, and calm the nervous system. Yet, because it has so many functions, it tends to get depleted from our bodies right Number 5. Set a daily wake-up time. Just like it is best to go to bed at the same time every day, it's a good idea to keep a consistent wake-up time, even on the weekends. Irregular bedtime and wake-up hours can lead to poor sleep patterns. Create a sleep sanctuary. If getting rejuvenating sleep is a high priority for you, then you need to take some essential actions to treat it as such. The bedroom should be for two things primarily one. Sleep and two. We will get to in just a moment. Number 6. Drink something comforting. While a glass of warm milk might not be medically proven to bring on sleep, the relaxation that comes with sipping on a mug of a comfort drink like warm milk, hot chocolate, or tea can make those eyelids a bit heavier. Have a high protein, low carb snack close to bedtime. If you want to get truly restful sleep, one of the worst things you can do is eat right before bed. Give your body a solid 90 minutes before heading off to bed after eating. This is especially true if you're eating carbs because the inherent blood sugar spike will cause a sharp drop in blood sugar later. Number 7. Be early to rise. One of the best things you can do to improve your sleep is to get up early. This goes back to the fact that humans have had certain patterns of sleep and wakefulness that we have only found a way to override. By waking up early you start the process of helping your endocrine system link up with the diurnal patterns of the earth. Get up when the sun rises. You might start off having a challenging time, but after less than a couple of weeks, your body will adapt to that pattern and have you feeling more rested and refreshed when you wake up. You can get out of the old pattern of being up at night tired and wired by being early to rise and having a natural release of cortisol and going to bed earlier and taking advantage of the natural release of melatonin.